Hi everybody, it's Brad from the Big Family Homestead and you need to know something about this video. I, um, well, I'm doing it for you. I'm taking one for the team. I would not, I, I'm going out of my way here, folks. And, and to be honest, yeah, it's, it's that kind of love. It's the kind of love that I have for you. So today's video is reviewing the Mountain House chicken breasts with rib meat and mashed taters, precious. So let's get cracking. Yeah, this one's looking kind of sketchy, guys. Gotta be honest, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go through the steps. I'm gonna make sure I give you an honest and truthful review of the Mountain House, Mountain House, chicken breasts with uh, rib meat and mashed taters, precious. Um, basically, the way this works is uh, I truly believe that we should all have some degree of long-term food storage on hand. I believe it's an insurance policy just like any other insurance policy. How about this? It's food insurance. That's exactly what it is. So I'm going through all of these different products that I get and uh, get my meaty hands on and I'm testing them out and trying to give you guys a good, more informed buying decision for yourselves, because these things are not cheap, to be honest. I mean, this one right here, it is two servings, but it was 10 bucks. It was $9 and 90 something cents uh, at the Meyer store nearby. So when you're talking about having some food on hand, I think it's extremely important. You never know what's gonna happen. There could be some kind of catastrophe. You could lose your job, anything. There's always, you know, a use for this kind of stuff. So finding the good ones that taste good that are a good value, I think is a very, very good thing to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through the ingredients, we're gonna prepare it, test it out. I'm gonna give you my 411 on how many thumbs up and or down this Mountain Horse product will be. So here we go. Okay, once again, this is the Mountain House chicken breast with rib meat and mashed potatoes. 3.7 ounces. This is a two serving package. It's about two servings. 220 calories. Um, just kind of looking through, we're glancing. If you want to zoom in, you can zoom in. This should be HD. Uh, a lot of protein, 44%, that's good. Kind of skimming through the uh, ingredients here to see if there's anything crazy or whatever. Oh, looks like we got some mono and diglycerides. Sodium acid, pyrophosphate, Oh, I don't know what that is, but that doesn't sound like I want to have a plate full of it. Uh, let's see what else. Um, chives, yeast extract. Ooh, that sounds shifty there, because isn't yeast extract another word for MSG? You look it up, you decide for yourself. All right, so contains milk and wheat. Let's check this out. Yeah. Okay, the instructions say to open the zipper pouch at the tear notch. Remove the inner potato pouch and discard the oxygen absorber. Leave meat in the zipper pouch. Carefully add one half cup, one, excuse me, one and one half cups, 12 ounces of boiling water to the meat. Fully immerse the meat in water. Close the zipper and let stand for two to three minutes. Now we are gonna carefully remove the meat. Empty the contents of the potato pouch into the water and uh, basically used to rehydrate the meat. Stir, close zipper, uh, and let stand for two minutes and try not to burn your face off while you're eating this delight of delights. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. Let's see what we've got. So here it is in all its splendor. Chicken, rib meat, mashed potatoes. Let's taste it, see what we got. All right, folks, moment of truth, tasting time. Here is this chicken with rib meat. Going for a piece of chicken first. Chicken. Taters. Hold on one second. Hold on. <laughs> when are we gonna cut this? <laughs> all right, now down to brass tacks, the moment of truth, what you've all been waiting for with bated breath, and that's my opinion. Well, maybe not all of you, but. Whatever. Anyway, here's the scoop. Okay, we got the chicken, we got the mashed potatoes, this mountain house. Um, things I like about it. I'll tell you what things I like about it. I like that you can actually cook it in the bag. That is so nice, especially if you're, you know, hiking or, or, or whatever it is that you're doing. If you're camping or if you're being forced to use this in a, you know, a, a, a job loss situation, it's really, really just very convenient uh, to have it where you just put your boiling water in the bag and it works really nicely. Now, 
Another thing that I was pleasantly surprised about uh, was the fact that the chicken rehydrated pretty well. And it was a, um, I mean, it did come apart and that might be part of their freeze drying process where it becomes brittle or I don't know. But one of the pieces of chicken was a solid piece. The other piece uh, kind of just came apart. But regardless, it was still a single piece of meat. That was kind of nice because you have that, that texture that we all know and we all want when you have meat. It's, it's, the texture's just as important as, as the, well, just about anything else. The smell, the taste, it all works together, but the texture is also important. So having that as a solid piece of meat was great. Um, things that, um, another thing I liked was the, uh, well, let's just get into the flavor. Here's the thing, okay, scale of one to 10, is this going to be something that you're gonna to wanna to sit down and have night after night after night uh, and have no complaints? No, but it was not bad. And I, I was honestly surprised. I mean, if you had a little barbecue sauce or a little Frank's hot sauce, uh, that would have been a much more pleasurable meal. It was kind of, the chicken was chicken. Uh, a little on the bland side, but once again, you can add your salt, you can add your seasoning and get away with it. Um, now, um, the potatoes were good. They had some chives in there. That was kind of nice. And it wasn't runny. They, they were good. Now, all in all, what would I say? You know, I'll scale of one to 10. Um, 10 being like the best meal you ever got at Outback or Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. And um, zero being, you know, crusted over dog poo. Okay, so that being said, this was probably a solid six. Not bad not the best thing you ever ate, but totally usable, totally edible. It wasn't bad. I mean, you could doctor it up with some sauces and some different whatnot. Now, things I did not like about it, I'll tell you this, okay? Portion size was really, really on the small side. That bag of food was supposed to feed two people, and I guarantee you, and now I'm not a big fat fatty, uh, well, okay, I am, but, um, bottom line is if you're out working if this is a camping or a hiking situation or even a survival situation uh you're gonna you're gonna want more calories you're gonna want more food you're gonna want to eat more and uh, i gotta say that if if um i was in a stressful situation like that that bag of food would be enough for me but definitely not two people um i don't care what the stats said on the back of the bag you're gonna want more food um so that i felt like okay that's you know that's on the that's that's definitely a negative on on the uh, terms of the um, good bad situation. Also, um, another thing was price. Holy smokes, guys! That was a ten dollar bag of food. Now, would I have felt you know this is a, a screaming deal at seven bucks? Probably, but ten dollars, you know, and and when you consider that ten dollars, you're going to be only eating it yourself. That's not enough food for two people. Um, so you're talking a $10 meal. Well, what can you get for 10 bucks? You can go to just about any old regular bar and grill and get a really nice hamburger and, and maybe even a adult beverage that's frosted and yummy. For 10 bucks, you're gonna be out of there, right? Well, that's gonna fill you up. It's a ton of food. This, not so much. True, you are paying for convenience. That is absolutely, absolutely key. And um, you know, when you're talking camping, you're talking hiking, survival, whatever, convenience is absolutely key and it's gonna keep you alive and it didn't taste that bad. So all in all, if I had to go, you know, Brad Thumbs rating, you know, how many thumbs up on a scale of one to 10 and that would be really freakish and weird because no person should have 10 thumbs. But if I did have 10 thumbs, I would say considering everything, price, taste, what you get, it's a solid effort. It's like a six and a half. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's definitely not bad. And so I would, I would personally consider having some of this stuff in my own storable, long-term storable food uh, setup if they were cheaper. Now, because that's honestly the case. I mean, for $10 per person, whoo, that's spendy, guys. So if you could get them cheaper, I would say definitely look into it, price, taste, you know, I mean, the taste wasn't bad. Price was a little high. So there you have it. It's an opinion and it's my opinion and your opinion can be different. And you know what? We can still be friends. We can't. I, I don't have to have your opinion and you don't have to have my opinion. So anyway, there it is. Please share the video around. It truly does help my family out. 
I'm Brad from the Big Family Homestead. You guys have an amazing day.